ないこの俺が人間なんだよあらいそう in this one I want to give my prediction my guesses I guess of what LFs what units in general but LFs primarily because people care about LFs there's shiny owl in my elbow、uh, shiny units that people care about and are very fucking good considering every LF、uh, post their anniversary has been goaded beyond belief especially nowadays with like OG to four but What LFs will return for the Black Friday banners? Yes, I do think we are getting a dual LF. Whoever the fuck this guy is, whoever the fuck this guy is, that's Black Friday.、Uh, I could see the same thing for Christmas slash New Year's celebration with the Legends Limited GSP, but who will return for Black Friday? Now, I don't know if you can boil this down to a science because Legends just kind of goes、uh, off the wall sometimes, you know. Did we expect a Gogeta 4 and Revival Gohan、uh, bait banner? No, but, but it happened, right? And that kind of throws everything. Fuck, help. Keep hitting it on the damn dresser.、Uh, drawer? Dresser? That throws everything out of whack, right? So, to look at who hasn't returned yet, we look here. Frieza is the oldest, the newest LF that hasn't returned, right? Full Power Frieza has not come back. That is the oldest, newest LF. That has not had their、uh, return debut. Then you keep looking.、Uh, after that was 8 Vegeta, then it was Evolution Blue, then it was Cell. And now here we are today waiting, right? So who has returned? Super Saiyan 4 Goku has returned. Gogeta 4 has returned. k r u b s m a s u just returned on Cell.、Uh, Revival Gohan returned on that、uh, bait banner, so you can consider that, considering Gogeta also returned on that bait banner. And then everything else here besides them has returned. So, future Gohan, Kid Buu, Rose. My theory is, and this is just silly,、uh, but I do think it is actually going to happen. Gogeta 4 returns on the, let's say it's a protagonist and antagonist. I don't know. For example,、uh, people want Master Ultra Instinct? Okay, Master Ultra Instinct. And then the antagonist is. Full power Jiren. Okay. So let's say that comes to fruition, right? Gogeta 4 would be on Jiren's banner. Revival Gohan would be on Jiren's banner if they were to return. And then the protagonist banner would have the villains. Kind of mix it up so you're forced to summon on this or that to get this other guy, right? Kind of like Anniversary was.、Uh, I'm not remembering fully who the、uh, other LFs were, but I know they were desirable more. On Gogeta 4's banner, then they were on c r u f t e d and Masu's banner. People went up for Gogeta 4 because it seemed like it was just a better idea given at the time of release. It probably wasn't, but it looked like a better idea. Them doing that now would make sense, right? Because Gogeta 4, while he's very, very fucking wanted, r a b u g o n while he's very, very wanted, c o r r u p t e d and Masu's gonna have a lot of value, right? So Gogeta 4, r a b u g o n on the antagonist banner, full power Jigen for this example, and then. Corrupted Zamasu, you put him on the Master Ultra Instinct, whatever, again, whatever the protagonist banner is, Master Ultra Instinct with Corrupted Zamasu, Kid Buu.、Um, I don't think they return anybody post anniversary, is the problem.、Uh, Eight Vegeta, I don't see him coming back yet. It's been two months. Since he debuted? Yeah, because Cell and then a Vegeta was after. So it's been only two months. Cell, it's been about a month. He's about to leave. And everything else, it's just been way, way, way too short. Like, usually how they do these things is about four, three to four to five months.、Uh, then the LF finally returns, right? So while I think, sure, Frieza has the opportunity to. I'd be shocked to say Frieza returns for Black Friday. Again, like on the protagonist banner, you have Corrupted Zamasu, Frieza, Kid Buu. That's a really good fucking bait, right? You have Gogeta 4 on the opposite with Rival Gohan. And for, I don't know, simplicity's sake, let's say. Who the fuck? Gogeta Blue. I don't know. Let's just say that.、Uh, those three versus the other three LFs. Those returns, obviously, I'm talking about the new LFs because people care about the newer LFs than, like, Okay, here's Zenkai Gohan coming back. Here's Zenkai Goten. Like, people don't really give a shit about them. So, I'm talking about the LFs that are relevant without Zenkai because obviously, you pull Gogeta 4 to like three stars, he's usable, right?、Uh, you pull Gohan to three stars, Zenkai Gohan, 
He's got three stars. He ain't Zenkai. He ain't usable. Like, that's just how that works, right? So, I could see Gogeta 4, Revival Gohan, Future Gohan, if not Gogeta Blue, on an Antagonist banner. Then, I could see Corrupted Zamasu, Full Power Frieza as a maybe, and Kid Buu on the Protagonist banner. Now, for the normal units, I feel like this is actually more important to a lot of players. So, we're going to go here. We're going to sort by order received because this is showing the droppage of when the units came out right so i don't think anybody before god topo or after rather god topo will come uh well yajirobi i guess because yeah yajirobi would because he just appeared uh again maybe even that ex gohan but nah, i don't even see it but why um, because it takes long. How they do these all-star units, and I'm not even, you know, I'm not ignoring LS, but I'm not discussing the LS because I just said it takes usually about three to four months to have them return. Uh, how they usually do these all-stars is they'll pop up the end of the month, the all-star unit, right? That That's the all-star banner. They come at the end of the month, the last day of the month, always. Then the next step up has the last all-stars unit. Well, let me explain this better. Let's say for God Topo, right? Um, you had who returned? Who is the EX that returned? Uh, all these EXs here, they all returned, right? Bujin, uh, Goku, uh, Zanya, all that, and all that returned, right? Then for Vegeta's step up, EX Jiren returned, even though he came with Evolution Blue. So it's the next LF banner proceeding. So with Yajirobe, yes, I do feel like he can return. He did return on this All Star. I believe with bird coup because he's on cells banner right they do that where it's one and then a skip and then a go into right so i could see ex yajirobe uh returning as the newest ex maybe that ex gohan but even if so you guys don't really care but he's a he's a botched super saiyan to uh zenkai trunks right you don't care about him that much i mean if you do then you know whatever but uh god topo califla ex jiren i could see all these units post third anniversary only until god topo now what do people want like are they gonna dilute the banner are they gonna you know actually make it worthwhile for you to summon on uh by only having this many sparkings well they're gonna dilute the banner right you're gonna have fucking purple super saiyan blue vegeta for first anniversary on this banner it's gonna suck right you might pull them instead of getting god topo um super saiyan 3 gt goku maju whatever it'll suck for sure but it's most likely the way they're going to do it, um, just because new players are going to come into the game. Uh, diluting the banner actually is beneficial to them. I know people don't like that they've been playing the game, but from a new player aspect, you need as many sparkings as you can get. You know, sure, you can only have six sparkings and make one god to your team. Like, whatever, go for it. But the game is about enjoying it, and the way to enjoy something typically is to have diversity and to do your own thing with it. I do understand the sentiment of wanting to run only one team, but eventually, if you, again, if you're a new player, you're going to want to run like, okay, this, this, this. Oh, hey, I pulled this old guy, I guess. I don't know. I just started playing, and at least I have a, uh opportunity to use them at least somewhere, right? So I do feel like it's going to be diluted with every single motherfucking sparking, unfortunately. It's just how it is. But the returning ones, the featured ones, I guess you could call it, because there will be featured sparkings besides the new sparkings, uh, there aren't elves, right? Which, whoever the fuck they are, um, hopefully they're actually, you know, good units. God Topo probably will be featured. Uh, Maju probably be featured, you know, on the opposite banner type of thing again. Uh, let's say, well, maybe, like, let's say it's full power Jiren, right? Maybe God Topo is on that banner, and then Jiren is, for whatever fucking reason, yellow. There you go. They synergize, right? Obviously. <laughs> Contending with, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta on, like, USS would be a problem, but, you know, for... For this video's sake, let's just say that, right? Uh, Kaelin Khalifa, and you have all these 3rd Anniversary units will obviously return. You know, they've all returned, I'm pretty sure. I think every single 3rd Anniversary unit has returned already. And again, uh, they return these a lot quicker than they used to. It used to be like... It used to feel like at least 6 to 7 months. Now, obviously, with monthly LS, uh, that's changed for sure. But I feel like uh, this anniversary not anniversary this black friday is gonna be uh pretty nice for us because i'm looking at these sparkings and i know again i said it 
Uh, it's gonna be diluted to fuck, but there's not really many, like if I even just sort by only sparkings, I guess. Uh, there's not many bad sparkings that have come out like in the last year. Like I'm looking at every single sparking here and Black Friday is right here, right? This is uh, Dispo, Jiren, and Topo. They all come out Black Friday. And I'm thinking like, is this bad? Like, let's say it goes only to, like, second anniversary sparkings. Like, okay. We go to Vegeta Blue. Who's really bad here? Like, you have Pycon in Z tier. You have some of these other units in, like, higher tiers as well. Uh, Great Saiyan, I know, is in a higher tier. Uh, Great Saiyan 1, too. Bergamo, obviously, in a great tier. Dispo, probably in a decent tier. Like, you have pretty good odds, uh, especially with this leader slot update and the uh, boost characters that you have for the season every two uh, seasons it resets. You do actually have a purpose to pull old sparkings, because let's say, I don't know, look, my slug is only seven stars, right? Well, slug has, what, a Z tier boost right now? If I actually, like, got my slug to, like, decent stars, like, I could legitimately run him on a team. And I know, again, people don't like uh, diluting a banner with uh, bullshit, which, you know, they have done that recently with all stars, but... Gotta think new players' sake, uh, people are gonna start playing this game because of Black Friday, because they seen a trailer on a YouTube ad, they seen a, a stream, they seen a video, you know, whatever, they seen something. They're like, holy shit, I wanna start playing because this guy came out, and I wanna see how this game is. That's what's gonna happen, they're gonna dilute it, you're not always gonna pull it, but... Uh, I do actually feel like diluting is not the worst thing in the world right now, because, again, you have all these boost units, and... A lot of units here are actually a lot more viable. I don't think they're, like, fucking meta. Uh, maybe besides Bergamo, but... Uh, I don't think they're fucking meta because they're a boost, but it makes them at least usable. Which, again, if you're a new player, you want the experience of being able to use the new character you pulled, regardless if it's the hype new shiny thing, or if it's something that actually is just, okay, mediocre. And then the format... I mean, we could just look at Cell's banner here to look at the format and kind of compare it. Uh... It's, I want it to be the same as UI Goku's, which UI Goku's format was basically um, the ticket that you got guaranteed at the end of the rotation, which obviously is a chance to pull UI Goku or Topo Jiren and Dispo, but it's probably not, it's probably going to be this format, you know, it sucks, but it's not the worst thing, at least we have pity, you know, pity, um, if you have 40k CC, you can guarantee to get at least one of the, uh, Black Friday units, if anything else, I would want the exchange coins, like, so they're going to be different banners, but I want them to be able to use together, so, like, if I'm pulling on Master Ultra Instinct Goku's banner, and I pull him, but I didn't pull on Jiren's banner because I went so deep for MUI, uh, let me exchange for Jiren Z-Power, Jiren tickets, uh, all this other, in his shop, with the MUI coins, this is a celebration together, kind of like the, uh, Pickle and Frieza banner back in the day, you could use each other's tickets on the opposite banner. The thing is, you had, uh, what's it called? A higher rate to pull Piccolo on, obviously, his own ticket summon banner than Frieza on his own ticket summon banner. And obviously, the featured sparkings, you had the higher rate of pulling the featured sparkings with that featured LF banner on that specific banner. And then swap over, you had that same circumstance. Hopefully, they do that to kind of merge the stuff. Um, I'm doubtful, I'm hopeful, but I'm doubtful that it will happen. But yeah, the format, 300, uh, 500, 700, 1,000, 1,000, free. Yeah, uh, at least they returned the free step, you know, they've done that a while ago, but you'll need about, well, is it? It's actually less than 40k CC, I'm pretty sure. It's like 30-something K, like 32k at this point, uh, because it's what? That's 300, 800, um, 1,500, 2,500, 3,500, wait, what? 1,000, 2,000, 2,700, 3,200, 3,500, yeah, it's 3,500 3, per rotation, and you're getting how many coins? You're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you're getting 5 coins, 5 times 8 would be 40, you need 40 or 50 coins to get sell, I, I have not bought sell, thankfully, 50, so you would need to do 35, so 35,000 CC, basically, uh, to... Well, a little bit more because you start off at second step again, but about 35,000 to like 37,000 CC to guaranteed get the uh, new LF. If it does keep this format, again, I feel like it personally will. Uh, if it doesn't, I don't really know a good way to do it. 
Uh, maybe they'll just add GSPs at the end of it. I legitimately can't see a way where they make the format better while keeping this. Besides what I said with like mixing the tickets to like one shop to where I can use each on each other's banners. But besides that, I don't think they'll add the EX guaranteed stuff. Well, actually, we do have that, don't we? Yeah, we do. I don't think they'll add it to like, uh, what's the word? I don't think they will add it to the premise of how great it used to be. Because it used to be a lot better with the less dilution, but you know, now it's not going to be that uh, valuable. And the double rate step, I don't think they'll return that. Uh, they could, for sure, but they want people to spend money. They're not going to return something. Like Think of it like this from a business point, right? They return a double rate step on top of giving you pity to where you're guaranteed to get the unit at an eventual point. Um, Business-wise, I would smack myself in the face if I thought that was a smart idea. Because, sure, I'm being nice to my player base, but, like, I'm it's a gotcha game, right? You have to expect to not get the new thing. And if it does happen, you go for the pity, right? That That's why it exists, right? But, yeah, I don't see the banners being too crazy. Uh, Corrupted Demasi Returning is definitely ambitious with him just returning recently. But besides that... I don't see the banners being, uh, see, I don't I say not too crazy, then I think Gogeta 4, Revival Gohan, and Future Gohan all in one team, and with the leader update, that's literally, like, a team, like, that's a meta team. <laughs> I look, and then Corrupted Zamasu, Full Power Freeze, and Kid Buu, that's a really good team as well, that's a powerful opponent, really good team, and if you have, like, Kid Buu and Corrupted Zamasu, like, six stars and up, you're fucking eating, I mean, Frieza also needs six stars, but, like, you're eating at that point, uh... I think the banners would be okay if what I'm saying is, you know, ends up true. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think the banners will look like? The featured sparkings, do you think it'll be diluted? Do you think it'll actually be just, okay, here's God Topo, and then we end off at PyCon. Like, all those units in between God Topo to PyCon, and then boom, no more units, or they have every single unit in the game, which, you know, think logically with me here, it most likely is going to happen. Um, if you guys do think think it's gonna be different lfs let me know i could i want to say i could see a situation where evolution blue comes back because of how quickly rival gohan came back because that's probably the fastest re returning lf in the game revival gohan um but it's so ambitious because even saying frieza is gonna come back is ambitious right because frieza what was frieza august so it's going to be mid-November, August, September, October, November. It's three months. It's ambitious. They usually return three to four to five months. Uh, Frieza could. Evolution Blue, he won't even hit three months by the time this banner goes up. And if he does return, man, um, summon on that banner he's on. You know, fuck Frieza at that point. Summon for Evolution Blue. Uh, I promise you this celebration of black friday into new year's into christmas and all this will most likely be buffs for god key and if it's not evolution blue vegeta is like a top three unit game individually like if he's on a banner just go all in for him that's my advice on that but all these other sparkings bojack green trunks all these others i do see hopefully returning you know i know people want to get stars upon their uh bojack because he's a very good unit a very good leader unit for like you know, uh, a red unit for, like, God Key, right? Like, Bojack, Pycon, Corrupted Tomasu, uh, well, Corrupted Tomasu, because he's getting, uh, more buffs if you just run a kind of varying setup of God Key that's, like, more strike-based, um, and then all these other setups that you can run them on. But, yeah, what do you guys think is coming for Black Friday? I personally, I'm, I'm iffy, you know? I, obviously, I'm gonna summon, like, no shit, but, to say these banners will be the greatest thing in the world, I'm iffy on that, but I'm also hopeful. I'm just thinking like this. The Legends Limited Guaranteed Sparking Banner, which will come probably New Year's, is probably going to have up to Revival Gohan. And, I mean, look at these LFs, man. Like, if I could just figure out where the fuck I'm going. Look at these LFs in this game. And I feel like you don't have any negative value on the Legend of the Guaranteed Sparking Banner that we're gonna get compared to Black Friday, which probably might have diluted uh, units and all that. Look at all these LFs, man. And it'll be three times guaranteed Legends Limited. Like, 
Who's a bad LF to pull here? Super Vegeta? Okay, he's gonna Zenkai soon. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta? He's gonna Zenkai soon. UI Goku? Probably gonna Zenkai. Probably gonna get a plat soon. Vegeta Blue? Probably gonna get a plat soon. Then you look at any other LF here. Majin Vegeta's still decent. Uh, LF Broly is okay. You just need Super Saiyan stuff. Future Gohan? Great. Gogeta Blue? Still great. And then everything preceding, like Future Gohan? They're all, like, meta-relevant LFs. Like, maybe Super Saiyan 4 Goku short, but he'll probably get a plot as well. Uh, I'm more excited for that, personally. That's just me. But let me know you guys think of what's coming for Black Friday. Banner-wise, what unit's actually coming, because I, you know, I did my prediction. But at this point, who the fuck knows? We do have about three days until that video and stuff uh, does come. It is, what, like, 9.30 in the morning Eastern, so schedule your times around that if you do want to see it uh, live. And, yeah. Well, what do you guys think the banners will look like? This is just my opinion. It's probably going to be, like, on the thumbnail, like, my prediction of the banner. But let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.